So yeah, what's happening? I just wanted to do a little video and talk about why I'll be passing on Black Ops 6. It comes out tomorrow, doesn't it? So, just thought I'd give me reasons why I think, like, anyone with a brain wouldn't buy the game. But uh, everyone's got their own opinion, haven't they? So, yeah, let's just go through it. Firstly, I like to talk about the zombies, and then we'll take a look at the multiplayer. So, um, yeah, the zombies got revealed about a week ago to a lukewarm reception to what it pretty much looked like Warzone, reskinned. Th this caused a little bit of backlash, and it, but what I think was more alarming that no one else picked up on is the fact that microtransactions are returning. So, yeah, once again, they've completely broken the balance, but what makes it even worse is some of these gobble gums will be exclusive to the store, which means... Half of the gobble gums you'll be able to unlock, but say the extra rare ones, like giving you an extra life or giving you a perk or pack a punch in a gun, they'll only be able to be bought in the store. It's obnoxious enough that they make the game a cakewalk and you, you literally can't opt out of them if you're going into a multiplayer game and someone else wants to use a gobble gum. Well, that's your game fucked, because whether you like it or not, they're going to just use them, aren't they? But yeah, I think it just absolutely ruins the game, because you can. I've been in multiplayer games with my mates before, and people have had that many gobble gums that they can cakewalk the first 20 rounds, and then just leave when they're down to get the gobble gums back. But um, yeah, can someone point out to me any other AAA game where it's acceptable to buy a fucking extra life? Like, any, can, can fuckers will pay £70 for a game where, where you can buy extra lives? Reality is stranger than fiction. This is literal temple run mechanics, and people are just fine with this now being in Call of Duty. Not only that, it's just expected at this point in zombies and people will just eat up the slop and are actually thankful for it. I think it shows a complete lack of a backbone that people are unconditionally supporting a franchise that like personally fucks them over this much. If you support this you're just as much as part of the problem as the companies are. It's blind loyalty like this that's caused the franchise to sink to such depravenous levels of greed. Do you know what I mean? So yeah if ruining a fan favourite mode wasn't enough they push it even further. I don't really know how the blueprints work, but I, so I'm guessing there's guns in the multiplayer that give you a bit of an edge, but I won't even talk about that. What, what bothers me more is, so they're selling sand. So they've partnered with some no-name company to make this 3D sand. It asks you to basically photograph your ear and map out an audio profile. So for $20, you get clear, like a clear advantage over your opponents by getting like audio that's fitted for your ear. The, obviously, this what other franchise would this be in than COD? Literal, the franchise that invented scuff controllers. So, it's pretty normal for COD fans to pay extra to get an advantage over the others, but this just seems like blatant, like, normally it isn't Activision themselves that are selling this, normally it's like a third party, like, do you know what I mean, modded controller, but they're actually selling in-game advantages this blatantly. Like, is this not a bridge too far? They're literally gatekeeping audio behind a paywall, like, that's actually pathetic. And this is only con gonna continue because for some reason people are just conditioned to just getting taken advantage of it every step of the way at this point. A, a recent example of this I'd say, like Netflix and Disney where they said they, um, they were gonna hike the prices up and also put it so you can only have one household per account. So yeah, everyone said they were gonna boycott this and this that and the other, it caused like all this stare online. And then when it came down to it, nobody did it. And then within three months, Netflix and that was put, put on record, like, account, new memberships. All these people who'd said that, oh, I'm going to boycott this and I'm going to do that. When it came to it, they just made a new account. Like, no one actually, what people say and what they do is completely different. So basically what I'm trying to say is slowly over time, you'll just include less and less features until you're literally buying shells of games and then have to fill it out with dozens of in-app purchases. This is the conclusion I'm coming to. It's just COD players and FIFA players aren't, like, real gamers. The people who need 20 minutes to kill and just want the easiest piece of shit on the market. People who say things like thinking's uncomfortable. Fortnite's by far the most popular game, even though half of the lobby you're playing with bots. Learning curves and skill gaps have just been thrown out the window in favour of quick dopamine fixes, colourful skins, loads of in-game purchases and instant gratification. The same people who logged into X Defiance and left after one game after realising they're not as good as Fortnite had led them to believe. So yeah, I, th I think I'm pretty much done with um, with COD. The last COD that I did buy was um, COD 4 Remastered, and even that ended up adding, f adding microtransactions for guns that weren't in the original game, and then adding DLC that fragmented the player base that was already fragmented because you'd have to buy a fucking other game to even play it in the first place. So yeah, I think um, everything I've said there is just enough of a reason to just never bother with this, like, franchise ever again and i think anyone with a brain would 
but like that's the only conclusion you can come to. So um, yeah, big L from Black Ops Six will not be buying. And uh, do you see the way they don't reveal this till about the week, a week until the game's coming out? Very, very seedy, mate. Very seedy. Why not just open with this weeks ago? Why, why get everyone in the beta, get everyone having fun, and then reveal this a day or two before the game's coming out? But you know why they do it? Because they want as little people as possible to notice. But what can't be me? I'm not getting ad off. You know what I mean? If you wanna fuck me, Call, Call of Duty, buy me a fucking. Do you get me? Buy me a nice dinner first. Treat me. Take me out for the night. If you're gonna let a game fuck you, at least be getting something out of it.